Hey, happy Monday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Chris Bianchi. We're going to take a, another look here at your detailed Colorado weather forecast and also an explainer about what you saw last night. Some of you, quite a few of you, are writing in that you saw grapple. And that might be a bit of a foreign term, especially if you're new to Colorado or the Front Range. I'll explain what that is here in just a second and a bit more detail on how it forms. In the meantime, we look up to the mountains, and that's where the action is right now. We're seeing a little bit of light snow for us on up by Rocky Mountain National Park. We've seen a little additional dusting to maybe an inch in a few spots in the higher terrain. But for the most part, it's a lot of sunshine that we're seeing on this Monday afternoon, that deceptive kind of sunshine. Looks beautiful outside, right? Looks like it's in the 60s or the 70s again, right? Uh-uh, not exactly. I'll get to those temperatures that we're seeing right now in just a second, but it is that deceptive sunshine where it feels like it's on the warm side, but it's not exactly warm. Anyways, big cool down for us today. No doubt about that. We're about 20, 25 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. Most parts along the Front Range, even a few spots in southeastern Colorado, closer to about 30 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. It does remain sunny for most of the state through Wednesday. Then our next storm system rolls on in on Thursday, including the potential for our first measurable snowfall in the Denver area for, for the first time here in the winter season. HD Doppler radar showing a few stray snow showers across the high country and a little bit of light snow still continuing for far southern Colorado. That is starting to pull on out of the region. And there's a closer look in at some of that snow out by Walsenburg, Trinidad, and uh, up by Raton Pass in northern New Mexico. That, again, is going to be the one area where we're looking at some tricky travel at this point. Now, again, still the chance for a few stray snow showers in the high country. Clouds, some flurries, perhaps a dusting in a few spots. Not a big deal. This is being fueled by some of the leftover moisture in the high country and also some of the daytime heating that we're getting there that's spurring some of that moisture to kind of condense into some of those snow showers. But once we get uh, after dark tonight, we're probably done with the snow for the next couple of days. I think tomorrow's statewide going to be on the snow and rain free side. Current temperatures looking a lot of 20s and 30s. Very chilly for us in the high country right now. 50s on the eastern plains, and this is considerably cooler as mentioned this time yesterday. Look at that in Trinidad, about 40 degrees cooler than this time yesterday for friends in far southern Colorado. Northeast Colorado, about 20, 15, 20 degrees cooler than this time yesterday in a few spots closer to about 30 degrees cooler in that 24 hour differential. Even the mountains about 5 to 10 degrees cooler as well. Freeze warnings for the western slope as well as the kind of eastern part of the and northern part of the Denver metro area. I think temperatures will generally speaking be about two to three degrees warmer than last night's. Uh, and so that means I think Denver itself probably going to avoid a freeze. But I think on the east side of the metro area, including the airport where we get those official observations, 31 will be our low. You get into downtown, probably 33, 34, 35, that sort of thing. So we'll probably avoid a freeze tonight um, in the Denver area. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some patchy frost, though. Mountains, 20s and 30s. For tomorrow, temperatures rising back up to where? Closer to where they should be for this time of year. Our average high is about 61, 62 for this week. It will be around 58 for tomorrow, so right around there. And a lot of sunshine should feel a lot better than today. I know it's been on the cool side for many of us, but today, uh, tomorrow, a uh, fair bit milder than today's temperatures. Most of us getting up to about 60. I think downtown maybe a little bit shy of that, depending on morning cloud cover or not. Now, in terms of our next storm system, this is the one we're keeping a close eye on for Wednesday night and Thursday, and that's where we could see our next storm system bring in the potential for more widespread mountain snow and maybe some snow chances for eastern Colorado, including the Denver area. Now, this is just one computer forecast model, so take this with a grain of salt, but there is the increasing potential. I think we see our first measurable snowfall of the year here in Denver. Now, a lot of us last night seeing a few flakes, some grapple, and that doesn't officially count. What needs to count is at least one tenth of an inch of snow or above at DIA, Denver National Airport, the city's official climate observation site. Mountains, though, some spots picking up 10 plus inches worth of snowfall uh, from last uh, yesterday's storm. And we're going to be adding a fair bit more snowfall to some of that higher terrain as we get into the next uh, 72 hours, I guess say 24 to 48, but it's more 72 hours out. We see that snow mainly on Thursday, some of it late Wednesday night. It's still fairly cool for most of the rest of the week, but again, this is fairly typical for this time of year. And by the way, this forecast takes us out through the rest of October. 
next Tuesday, November the 1st. So we're eight days out from the start of November. And this is a fairly typical forecast for the last week of October. One snow rain chance, otherwise temperatures upper 50s and low 60s. So last night, some of us seeing something called grapple as a bit of a reminder for some of us who've been here for a long time and a bit of an introduction for those of you who might be new to the Front Range. This is exactly what grapple is and it tends to be fairly unique to us here in Colorado. What happens at the top of a cloud, you get snow that fall out of the cloud. That is typical even in a mid summer thunderstorm. You can get snow that eventually melts on down as it re gets closer towards the surface. Of course, temperatures cooler the higher up you go, typically speaking. Then that snow falls through a layer of what we call super cooled water droplets. Now, th what that means is water, actual liquid water, with despite the fact that the air temperature is below 32 degrees. So again, water, when we're talking about temperatures below 32 degrees, obviously normally of ice or snow, but super cooled water is water with temperatures below 32 degrees. Those droplets then freeze over on those snowflakes and the result, once it reaches the surface, you get this kind of soft-ish hail looking substance. So the best analogy for it here, folks, and I say this all the time, it's like Dippin' Dots. So if you like Dippin' Dots ice cream, you know it. It's that kind of soft, chewable, obviously, type of ice. And that's what grapple is. So if you see that kind of, again, softer ice that doesn't look like hail, doesn't look like sleet, you're probably talking about grapple, which means you're getting this refrozen water on over a snowflake. So it's a snowflake at its core. Um, if you had a Tootsie Pop or something like that, at the core would be a snowflake around it. You'd have this kind of refrozen little bit of water on over it. That's the way to think about it. Colorado snowpack right now about 150% of average. And look at that in Southwest Colorado, about 333% of average. Don't take this too, don't, don't get too excited about this. This is like the Rockies winning day one of the 162 game season. We got a long ways to go here, folks. So um, if this map is like this in January, I'll be doing cartwheels, but um, late October, all you need is one decent storm like what we just got over the weekend. And those snowpack totals suddenly jump and go all over the place. That said, later on this week, this is gonna be a pretty exciting map as those snow totals are gonna be pretty uh, ridiculous. We saw our first freeze officially of the season in Denver last night. We got our coolest temperature, 156 degrees out at the airport. But our average first freeze is on October the 7th. So this is very late for us to be talking about our first freeze. And again, in terms of that first measurable snowfall, we have not gotten that yes, even though we did see flakes yesterday, we have not seen our first average or our first uh, measurable snowfall, which we normally get around the third week of the month of October. Last year, of course, we had a record long wait for it. We had to wait all the way until December the 10th for the first time on record. By the way, records in Denver go back 150 years. So I know I just recapped a lot of things. Let's kind of break it down back for you. Number one, grappled. Uh, what we were talking about last night, it's a snowflake with a little bit of super cooled water back over it. So, and then it refreezes back on the snowflake. So um, it's that kind of softish sort of hail like substance. That's one. Number two, today cool, we warm back up tomorrow. Number three is we get more snow back in the picture for Thursday. A lot for the high country and for us in Denver could be our first measurable snowfall of the season. Chief Meteorologist Kathy Sabin's on in at 4 and 5 today, and then Meteorologist Danielle Grant in at 6, 9, 10 tonight on the 9 News Family of Networks. Once again, I'm Meteorologist Chris Bianchi. Thanks so much for joining us here on 9 News Plus. Have a great rest of your Monday.